Merry Christmas YouTube, it's still a Junkie 07. I am still finishing my face, um, doing my <laughs> beginner's makeup series. Um, I just did, did, mm, did this eye look and I just stopped at doing just the colors. And so I'm going to now add color underneath my lower lash line. Excuse me, you want to take either like a small thin eyeliner brush or you can even use a smudger brush or an angled brush if you want to. I'm actually just going to use um, this brush right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the, the color I put here on my the first half of my lid, which is this one. I'm going to get some on the brush, tap the brush off, and I'm going to just run it along here. This is a very light color. Then I'm going to take the color I used in my crease, this color here, and I'm going to put this on the rest of my, well, underneath my lower lash line. I don't know what I was going to say. My lash line, I think. But it's actually underneath my lower lash line. And doing this sometimes you will get fallout, or I do anyway. If you can connect it, um, I tend not to because my eyes tear, and so whatever color I put in the corner, the very corner, ends up not being there after a while. And so I kind of don't usually even bother to do that. I'm just going to take this all the way over because I can see where that eye primer is, and I don't like how it's looking. So I'm just going to take this all the way into my inner corner. I think I got fallout, which I'm sure I did. So if you do get fallout, sorry for getting all up in your face, you can take um, a baby wipe and just run it underneath where the fallout is. The only hazard to doing this is because I already put on my foundation, this will remove <laughs> my foundation. Um, so you may want to do your foundation last if you're um, concerned about getting fallout so that's how you clean that up if you want a sharp edge you know you can do something like that instead of using tape how well, some people use tape here to get a sharp edge you can you can do that okay now what is next eyeliner I'm going to use for my upper lash line Max Black Track Fluid Line. It's just a black gel liner. You can use whatever co color liner you want to. My favorite brush to use for um, liner up here is actually the Bare Essentials Angled Eyeliner Brush. You can use whatever brush you're comfortable with using. Um, which one is it? Urban Decay has, oh gosh, an eyeliner brush and it's just flat straight across the top. I'm not good at using these kind a flat one so I haven't used it um, you could use this is actually an eyeliner brush an angled I mean a um, slanted eyeliner brush but I tend to just use this for my brows actually but you can use a brush like that the brush I use to put color underneath my lower lash line is actually an eyeliner brush so you can use one like that and sometimes I do use it but because this is a little thicker than this one I have a hard time sometimes getting a thin line with this and so I will use a thinner brush like this one. And usually my line comes out thick anyway because I'm just clumsy. Well, not clumsy, but well, I am clumsy anyway. So I, <laughs> you get as close to your lash line as possible unless you just want a thicker line. And as I just said, my lines usually end up coming out pretty thick. Or one side will come out perfect. Like so far, I'm really liking this side. 
And then when I do my other side, it'll come out different. And so then I'll go back and forth trying to make them look the same. The idea is just to have it really thin on the inner corner and get thicker as you come out to here. And I think I just messed it up. <laughs> And I'm going to do the other eye and watch how it comes out different. Not on purpose, though. I'm thinking if I don't talk, it'll come out right. We will see. We will see, I say, as I'm talking about not talking. <laughs> Really? I think I got it the way I want it, so let me stop messing with it. Whoa, Jack! <laughs> I got them both almost the same. <laughs> okay, so that's eyeliner. Now I'm going to do uh, my eyebrows. I'm just cleaning off my um, eyeliner brush. I'm wiping it and swirling it inside of... Um, the baby wipe because I do use this like every day when I wear liner I use it every time I do liner for my brows I'll take a brow brush and I will brush my brows over lately I've been just using a brow pencil you can use brow pencils brow wax um, eyeshadow if you want to and maybe I'll do eyes well no I'll just use a brow pencil <laughs> this is Max brow pencil and spiked and I will I don't stencil and all of that stuff I'm just real simple I'm not complicated that way and basically I just draw a line outlining my brows and putting somewhere I over plucked <laughs> and then I'll just go back and just fill it in and so I'm wondering why I couldn't get open I was trying to open it the wrong end so I'll just take it and I will try to outline where my natural brows are and over here where they are over plucked. I don't really fake an arch. If I had one, it would be right here, but right before where I over plucked. <laughs> and so I'll outline underneath. There are plenty of um, eyebrow tutorial videos on here. Um, if you're just starting out in makeup, I don't know if you want to get that complicated. I've been wearing makeup now, what is this, 2011, maybe about four years, and it's still too complicated for me. Um, I love how it looks, though. I'm just kind of slow that way, I guess. So I just outline them, and then I'll just go back, and I will just fill it in. And that's how I do my brows. Nothing fancy. And then I'll do the other side, and I did just drop it. And got it on my hand which I'm sure you probably cannot see that and then I'll do the other side silently praying that I can get them even because even without penciling them in they're not even anyway and so then since I just trace it and fill it in it's not even though I do try to get it even but it usually doesn't work Another reason I don't stencil my brows and do all of that is because people who know me know what I look like. And if all of a sudden I have perfect brows, they're going to be like, okay, who are you and what did you do with D? And so I don't want to not look like myself. You know, I'm not a professional makeup artist. Um, I don't work in a makeup store. I have been asked to do people's makeup on occasion, like just for fun. But this is just like a hobby. So I don't go anywhere where I need to, you know, just look completely like, wow, her makeup is the bomb. I don't go anywhere like that. And surprisingly, even when I go to work, when I do a full face, people are like, oh my gosh, your makeup is nice. Can you do mine one day? And I'm kind of like, really? Huh? <laughs> so I'm even amazed too at, you know, people you know, complimenting on my makeup because I really still feel like after four plus years that I don't know really what I'm doing and what I learned, I learned off of YouTube. And when I tell people, they're like, YouTube, I'm like, yeah, I learned how to do this from YouTube. How do you do that? I say, watch the video. So this is it that I'm going to do 
for my brows and then I, I'll just take the brush again and just brush them over. And I forgot to do my um, liner underneath my lower lash line so I will, excuse me for scratching, like a crackhead. Mm. Um, <laughs> I use, you can, people have told me that you can use um, Prime Pots and other gel liners on lower lash lines but because my allergies are so sensitive I do not even dare try that. What I have found that does really work well for me is the Bare Essentials Buxom Inside Eyeliner. This one is, is in Sapphire which is a blue and I love this on my lower lash line because I really think it does kind of make my eyes pop and sparkle. And I hear people say, make it for my eyes pop. And it's just like, okay, really? But I think I, I really, <laughs> I think it really does. And so I really just like using this. And so to do my lower lash line, I'm going to get up in your face um, so I can see. And I turn it up just enough. And you don't, if you're not comfortable just putting it on your waterline, which is the line above your lashes, but before you go poke yourself in the eye, that line right there. If you're not comfortable just laying it there and running it over, you can pull your eye down, which if you're like me and you already have bags and stuff, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Or if you're young, I wouldn't recommend it either because over time it will just start to sag anyway. Um, but just run it along that inner rim, which is what I think Tarte calls them, your inner rim, your water line. And you can see it's a subtle, it's a very, very, very subtle difference. It's not like wow, Pam, Pam, wow, pop, bam, <laughs> in your face, but it's kind of like it does do a little something for the look. And so then I'll do the other eye. And you want to do this looking up. That's why I'm in your face because I'm looking at the camera back here. Because if you do it this way, you're not going to be able to get to it. So you look up and just place it on. Your water line. If you need to blink, move this first. Don't blink with this one there because then it'll probably get in your eye. And so that's how you do that. Another thing we do in Makeup Land is called tight lining. Tight lining is when you line your upper water line. And to do that, some people will lift up their lid. And you can see it right here. Some people pull up the eye. Some people pull up their lashes. Some people pull up the lid. For me, I do it the same way as the bottom. Except I look down. And I use the mirror down here. And I just run it along that upper water line. And that's what we call tight lining. Now again, very, 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 very subtle difference. And what this does is, if there is any of your color around here, or even in between your lashes, this will help fill in that color. And so I just look down, open my eyes wide. My grandma, what big eyes you have. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood, I'm sorry. No, I have not seen it lately. And so I just run this. And usually I do this before. No, this is usually when I do it. When I do it. I was going to say before my mascara, but I didn't do my mascara yet. And so that is that for that. And then I will do mascara. I don't know why I said that like that. I'm using a sample of the Bare Essentials Buxom Mascara. And you look down. And I'm sure we all know how to do mascara. If, if you're missing your outer lashes, then you can, you know, go out on the side with the tip of the wand. Um, some people wiggle the wand. I mean, whatever you need to do to coat all of your lashes. Um, some people open wide and they blink. But I'm just paranoid to like close my eyes while I'm doing this. <laughs> then you look up to do your bottom lashes. Then you do the other side. I do dip it back into the container in, be in between one eye and the other eye just to get more product on the brush. I do not wear false lashes, again, too complicated for me, and I just cannot picture myself coming at my eyeballs with tweezers, um, so I will not be doing a false eyelash tutorial, but there are videos on YouTube how to do that. And then you come underneath, where well, you look up and do your bottom lashes. 
I am at 15 minutes. Oh no. So that's it for this, and then I'll come back and do lips. Thanks, guys, for watching.